Can you believe that some people put furnaces, blast furnaces, and smokers, if they even have them, on the floor of their house instead of something doing something spectacular like this? I bet they're not even subscribed. So at the minimum, this is everything you're going to need for one super smelter. I would definitely recommend having three, one for furnaces, one for smokers, one for blast furnaces. And then also you might need more hoppers depending on how you hook this up to your house. If you just have one sitting like this, then I mean, th this is what I counted. This one's fine, this one works. But if you wanna link it up, you're gonna need some more hoppers and a uh, item elevator, but I have a video on those. So we're gonna start by making our minecart unloader. We're gonna place a block there, put a chest here, have a hopper run into this, put a block here. Sorry, my microphone's not pointed at me. Let me fix this, there we go. <laughs> We're gonna put a comparator running out of the hopper, and then we're going to loop the comparator back into the block above it. So all it does is loops through here. So what this does is every time you have something in the hopper, the comparator will turn on and shut this off. So if we put some powered rails here, and then say we get a stack of stuff in the minecart, then the minecart will stop here until it's completely unloaded, and then whenever it's finished, it'll keep going. So now we'll want a normal rail here. Then we'll want to go one, two, three, four, five blocks, put five powered rails, two more, and then do a rail and another powered rail. And then we'll want to put our furnaces on top of these. Now you don't want to make this more than seven because there is a weird bug with the hoppers that'll happen and it'll just not use one of the furnaces. So there's no point in building an eighth. And then every time you build longer, it just changes which one doesn't work. It's weird, don't worry about it. So now we need to pick a random one of these in the middle. I'll just choose this one. Gonna replace it with a redstone block, and then you can just put your uh, power rail back on there. And then let's put an end cap. So you'll see if we put a hopper mine cart here, it has the ability to run back and forth under the furnaces, and then whenever it has stuff, it will drop them in this chest. So now we need to cover the uh, furnaces and hoppers. Whoops, lost my flight. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hoppers pointing into the back, we'll put stuff in the bottom. Hoppers pointing into the top, we'll put stuff into the top. So now we're going to put a block right here. And then we're going to cover these in rails. And we're gonna put another redstone block just somewhere on the side. It can be pretty much anywhere along here. I just put it on the side because it looks nicer. Then we're going to bring this out two more blocks and do the same thing with a normal rail and then a powered rail. And then also don't forget a stopper. So let's stack up some hoppers, just as many as you need, doesn't matter. And then we can put our, where's it? Our minecart hopper right there. So now we need the thing that loads the items you're smelting into the furnaces. So let's add eight on top just to come out one further. And then we're going to stack this one here, move this one down, have a comparator point out of the hopper that points into a block torch point into a repeater and that will run redstone dust all the way along here and what this will do is it will evenly distribute all the items into each of the furnaces and now let's also use this to power this hopper uh minecart so we're going to bring this down one like that we're just going to point into this block and it's going to invert this torch so now you'll see if we bring this up and we get some chests and again, you can move these wherever you want, just how hoppers work. Let's get some cobblestone and some coal. Let's put some coal in here. You'll see it is being dumped inside of this high, uh, hopper minecart. And then if we put our stack of stuff in here, it will distribute through and everything will run. And what this also means is this minecart will only run while the thing is smelting stuff. There we go. So now I want this bottom minecart to only run while the thing is smelting. So we're going to have an observer look out of this, which is going to point into a sticky piston, which is going to point into a block of redstone with a dust here. And now we have a T flip flop that only has this run while stuff's on. So let's say, actually, I'll just, uh, what's something we can smelt? I'll get one cobblestone. We'll put it in here. It'll turn on the minecart and it'll keep running. And you'll see this will stay on long enough for it to dump everything because you have to wait for the fuel to run out. So our stuff is in here now. Whoops. And then once this turns off, this will shut off. So I'll just speed up time here real quick. 
there we go. Now this won't work in Bedrock Edition because just the way pistons work, they can't just push like observers can in Java. So you can either look up a way to use an observer T flip flop in Bedrock, or you can straight up just, you know, uh, put a lever in here. So, and then that's the downside. So now let's replace all this with a nice looking room. I'll just bring this out over here. We'll make it like this. All right, so here is your input chest marked by cobblestone. Here's your fuel chest marked by coal and your output is marked by stone. And for the backside, you can see the cobble chest just points straight down into here. The fuel points straight down into the minecart. And of course you can make this as many heights as you want. It doesn't matter. And now we're gonna need an item elevator to send from that chest up to here. I'm just gonna use the one from my item elevator video. And here is a bedrock version of this item dropper thing. So if I just put a stack of stuff in there, it just shoots it out real quick. That's all it does. There's better versions than Java, but here's the bedrock one. So there are some possible issues you can run into and I'm gonna show them in a second. However, I'm also gonna tell you how to fix them. So yeah. So now I have everything hooked up properly and I'm going to copy this to have one for blast furnaces and one for sm uh, smokers, that's what they're called. All right, so I think I copied these other two correctly. And so what should happen is we'll test, we'll put a stack in each. However, just so you know, if you put exactly a stack, then one item will get stuck in here just because that's the way these hoppers are working, but you'll get it back the next time you smell something. So let's actually get paired. Let's get three stacks of this, stacks of these, and then we'll put coal and ancient debris that doesn't go in there. Luckily, I made these trap chests. So if I would have clicked it, it wouldn't have mattered until I closed the chest. Let's put those in there. Put coal and raw pork chops. Coal and stack cobble. And we should get 63 of each of these if I just speed up time here real quick. All right, sounds like it's completed. 63 stone. 63 cooked pork chops and 59 netherite scraps. So I did some testing to figure out why that's the case. Uh, apparently uh, these blast furnaces are so fast, that's the wrong one, uh, that they just leave some of the stuff in here before they can get put into the furnaces. So the fix for that is just to raise all this up and add one more row of hoppers there to pull out of here. So example, if there was a hopper underneath this, it would pull out of it and put it into the furnace. Like just, just imagine another row of hoppers in between here where everything else is the same. And so that'll definitely help the blast furnace one. Uh, it's probably not necessary for these two since it's only one item every time, but having like seven less ancient debris or something uh, might be a little bit hurtful. So if you want to fix that, just add one more row of hoppers. If you're wondering why you don't just have one of these and mix all of them together, like some furnaces, some smokers, some blast furnaces, that actually gets a lot more complicated and less efficient so just trust me that this is the best way to go with this. Also, if you want, you can replace the uh, blocks right here with glass. And then whenever you smelt stuff, you'll see it all pop up through here. Look at how cool that is. So I currently get about one to 200 comments per day and about seven of them every day <laughs> tell me to make videos on things I already have videos on. So if you're interested in any sort of like farm or contraption, Look through my channel first, and uh, first of all, you might see something you didn't even think of, but second of all, uh, I might already have a video on it, so don't forget to like and subscribe, ha ha ha. It's 3 a.m.